Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about what is interpolation and what is extrapolation. This will be the easiest math explanation, so let's get right into the video. And yes, I just rhymed those words, interpolation, extrapolation, and explanation. So let's get right into the video. So first of all, the words interpolation, okay? So we have interpolation, okay? And then we have extrapolation over here. So extrapolation. Okay, so I've divided up the sheet into sort of two areas right here. The top half will be interpolation, the bottom half will be extrapolation. So let's go over what they mean, and then um, we're going to um, look at just a quick example for each. So interpolation is basically to predict values that fall within the range of data points that you have. So this is within, okay? So predict predict within. For interpolation, we're predicting what is happening within the range of data points. So let's say you have a graph over here, okay? Just for instance, and you have some points. Let's just put some points up here, over here like this, no problem. So you have some points and you wanna predict over here, <clears throat> okay? Between, let's just say right here, let's put a little box here. Between these two points, between this point right here, I'll make them a little bit bigger, and this point over here, between these two points, what what data point or points might fall between them, right? So you are looking within the range of data that you already have, you're trying to predict something. So predict means that you don't know, but you're trying to take an educated guess. That's what that word means, predict. And then within means within points that you already have. So take those two words and you know what interpolation is. You are looking at within the data, you are making an, an educated guess as to what else would be there what additional would be there. So let's say I, I, I would predict that there would be an additional point over here, right? That extra point over there would be an interpolation prediction, okay? Very easy, that, that's interpolation, very simple. Now extrapolation on the other hand is to predict values that fall outside of the range of data points. So you are now predicting a data point or multiple data points that fall outside you're predicting outside of the range of data points. So let's say, once again, you have a graph, okay? And then you have, let's just say, um, like, a, let's just imagine you have points and they're starting to sort of do like almost like a hockey stick kind of curve like that. So it's not exactly just a linear, um, a linear growth. You're, you're having like exponential growth like that. And you wanna figure out what data points would come next. So I'm gonna put a little box over here Right, continuing forward, what data points would fall within this box range right here? You have your data points over here, right? You have your data points here. You don't have any data points here, but you need to predict, you need to take an educated guess for data points that are happening outside of the ones that you already have. So you're predicting data points that fall outside of the range of data that you already have. So let's say I was continuing on. I'm like, okay, no, I think that if this were to continue, we would have a point here, we'd then have a point here, and then probably a point up here, let's imagine, right? Yes, it is only within this part of the box, but you know, this is our range over here. And my prediction for extrapolation would be that I have these three points right over here within that box. So this box had nothing in it before because it was outside of our range of data points. And I predicted that these three points would be within that box's range, okay? Using the, using the, the, the data that I already had. So essentially you're using the data that you already have and the knowledge that you already have to predict what's going to happen outside of the range of data that you already have, and that is extrapolation. So that's it. That is essentially what is interpolation and extrapolation. I've gone over the basics for understanding it with an easy explanation for interpolation and extrapolation. That's why I re-rhyme all the time on this channel, so show some appreciation. Hit the like button, subscribe, just do everything that you can to show some appreciation for this video. I tried to make it as simple as possible to explain both of those easy math concepts. And that said, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.